Hello, hello, hello to all of my amazing Capricorns. This is Queen Amura coming to you with a very special reading on today. Happy 1010 Capricorn. Hopefully you all are having a great day today. I know you are because that's the intention you said. Listen, when I start on my readings with that, planting those seeds, I know you're having a great day because that's the intention you said. I want you all to understand how powerful intentions are, right? Really setting your intentions. Intentions really is like, is really the most underrated power in the universe. It really, really is into creating the life that you want. So I really want you all to start setting your intentions and taking some action towards those that you set. Okay. All right, good. Let's get into it. We're going to be talking about 10, 10 on today. Let's do it. Most high God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my amazing Capricorns as it relates to every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions and spirituality and where my Capricorns need to take action. I am talking to my greatest of all time. That is Seals, by the way. Yes. Creative, great managers of people, money, and time, self-control, self-discipline, responsible, classy, ambitious team players who are also hardworking, loyal. Yes, very, very loyal sign. I want you all to start really using your your phrase, your key phrases I use, right? Remember that because I may I may toss it out there when we're talking about a uh you know, giveaways during Capricorn season. Always remember is I use, that's your phrase, right? That's your motto. That's your phrase. I want you all to start using everything that you have to your advantage, right? Everything that you use to your advantage. And I'm going to talk about high vibrational, right? Let's do it. 10 is a very, very powerful number. And I'm going to tell you why it's a powerful number, right? So 10, 10, you're just going to double that. Nice. Right out the deck. Oh, a lot of money cards right out the deck. Okay, Capricorn, I see y'all. Look, hey, don't forget about me. Okay, Capricorns? So look, here we go. The sun card. Nice. Okay, see this person that's grounding. Look at all these beautiful, vibrant colors in here. I see you all on fire. This is the sun. This is what's giving you life, like really removing all the stale energies of doubt and fear and all of that from you, right? This grounding is also recharging you from the earth, right? Your earth sign. So you're recharging, right? I see a lot of you all in hermit mode, like really going, taking some time to just, this is from your, um, your, one of your relatives. This is from Virgo, right? Sister sign, right? Virgos, right? So I see a lot of you all doing a lot of soul searching, which is great. Really taking some time for yourselves to make sure you're very clear about who and what you're receiving from, right? Here we have the King of Cups, again, spending time by yourselves, just kind of sort of in introspection mode, which is nice, activating your crown chakra. That's having that God level of clarity, opening up that throat chakra. We're talking about the color blue, that throat chakra, right? Being able to receive and able to speak exactly what it is you want into existence. Now, here's the beautiful thing about what's happening right now. This is all of this is money. All of this is money. Here's the beautiful thing. Your ruling planet is Saturn. Depending on when you watch the video, I think Saturn is supposed to go um, uh, station directed like close to 2,300 hours all around the world. Okay. So we're not talking about a specific time zone. We're just talking about 2,300 hours around the world. Wherever you are, I think Saturn goes um, station direct there. It currently is it retrograde while I'm doing this reading right now. It's currently retrograde along with Uranus, but we're going to stick it. We just want to stay with Saturn right now. I mean, your ruling planet is Saturn. You want to sit down and really write out your long-term goals, your ambitions. This is part of the part of the soul searching process. Like really, this is part of this being by yourself process. Whether you're on a beach or near a body of water in a bathtub and a spiritual shower, whatever. You want to really sit down and write out what you want moving forward for your life to look like. And I'm talking about having a real serious, honest conversation with yourselves, right? This is not something you share with everybody. This is just me, myself, and I, just you, even if you're married, even if you're with a partner or whatever, not that you're trying to keep anything from anybody, but this is time to go in, like seriously, go in and have a serious conversation with yourselves and decide what kind of life that you want. Write it down, speak it into existence, put it out there in the universe universe and watch it comes back. It may not come back the way that you think it's going to come back because the way that the universe is, keeps everything balanced out is, and this is why I don't talk about humility on my channel because the universe keeps everything, God keeps everything balanced out in our lives all the time. Even when a, even, even if a person wants to be arrogant and be a showboat, there's something else that's going on in their lives that's actually keeping them humble behind the scenes, whether you see it or not, right? So in order for all of this to happen, perfect synergy for you when it comes to your money, whether it's in the workplace or your business or both, travel includes the resource of money, 
financial independence includes the resource of money. Something is has to something has you have to lose something to gain all of this, right? Some of you all will be losing family members that haven't been supportive anyway. Some of you all will be losing friends that really, quite frankly, aren't even ready to go where you're going. I mean, for real, let's just be honest. Not everybody is ready to go where you're going. Sometimes you like to keep some people from the old neighborhood with you, you know, just to kind of sort of remind you. But the truth of the matter is, if we're keeping it real, if we're keeping it all the way 100, some of them aren't ready to go. They really aren't. They're not, they don't, they don't see themselves at a higher position. So the only thing that they're going to have to offer you is to remind you of what happened 10, 15, 20 years ago in a neighborhood. That's all. But as far as taking them, where you, so you just in short, you're going to have to be prepared to let go of things like fear, let go of doubt, let go of a belief system that you may have had that you have a limited amount of resources. That is absolutely not true. That's absolutely not true. So in order for you to have the life that you really want, you're going to have to really be real with yourselves. If you really want to be wealthy, say it. There's absolutely nothing wrong with money. Nothing. Absolutely nothing wrong with money. That's why you see so many billionaires that are popping up younger and younger and younger because people are developing a different type of relationship with money. The, the energy of money, right? They're developing a different type of relationship with their with themselves. Like I'm operating in faith. I'm no longer operating by fear. If I say I want to start a business, I'm going to go ahead and start it. I just may not be able to tell everybody right now. I may have to keep it close to the cuff. Remember, we are currently still in an, it's, even though it's a waxing crescent moon, we haven't gotten to the first quarter moon yet. So technically we kind of still in a, this still new moon energy right? Moving towards, eventually moving towards a full moon energy. But so you're starting to learn. Remember, I always talk about quality of relationships over quantity of relationships, right? Quality, right? The energies around you, quality. When you want them to be on your same frequency, you don't want jealous energy around you. Why? Because you're going to dedicate a portion of your energy to wondering what they're doing behind your back. Why do you want those kind of spirits around you? So again, in order for you to receive all of this, some things are going to have to be sacrificed. What, what are you willing to sacrifice? What are you willing to give up to live the life that you want for real? Like, what are you willing to give up? Let's just, uh, you know, because a lot of times people aren't being, they not being completely honest with themselves. It's like, well, you know, nah, -uh, not no, well, you know, listen, what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> you know how people start beating around the bush and they can't just come right out and say, just say it. <laughs> what do you want? Your throat chakra is wide open. Tell God exactly what it is that you want. Be completely honest with yourselves, but also be ready to lose some things too. Some things that are necessary for you to lose in order for you to have the life that you want. That's the part a lot of people don't talk about. Are you ready to lose fear? Are you ready to lose doubt? You can say it out your mouth all day long until a situation presents itself. It's like, oh my God, false evidence appearing real. What do I do? What steps do I take? Hey, operate in faith. You covered. Here we have the queen of swords. This is exactly what I was talking about. This right here, this energy right here, person using their power, energy directed outward. They got that sword in their hand. They're very careful about who they allow in their space. If I got to keep one eye open and one eye closed around you, guess what? I don't need you around me. You know that's that old saying, keep your enemies close, but keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. Mm -mm. I don't want my enemies anywhere near me. If I know you don't like me and I know you don't have a problem with me, guess what? I'm taking out right here. This sword cut you out. Gone. I don't need you anywhere near me. If anything, this is what you want near you, right? Your guardian angels watching over you, making sure you are divinely continuing to be divinely protected. You want your ancestors around you. That's why you see some people, they by themselves. They're like, look, I'm good. Like, I know my ancestors are around. I know God is watching. I know I'm covered. I don't need some wishy-washy iffies around. I don't need wishy-washy people around me. See, look, this is how close you are getting to the other side of what you said, where you said you want to be. This has been a long relationship with people who have been some challenging relationships around you, but you still were coming up with ideas. Some of y'all were reading more books, writing books. Some of you all don't even look like what you've been through and you're closer than you realize to the other side. Yep. Mm -hmm. Here we have the world card, Saturn. Yes, Capricorn. I'm loving it because look, Saturn is, this is your life is coming full circle. 
Some of y'all were conditioned. This is the, the energy that's coming through. Some of y'all were conditioned to, you, you don't need all of that. You don't need to live in that kind of house. You don't need to drive that kind of car. You don't need to have this. You don't need to have that. You need to cut those people right out of your life. Let's just cut through all the other stuff. Let's cut through all the BS. When I say BS, I'm talking about belief system. Let's cut through their B, their BS because that's what if that's what you want for yourself. All of this stuff is re, all of this is man made. If this person can live in this kind of house or ride this jet, be in this jet, drive this kind of car, why can't you? If this person can be in a happy, healthy, whole, balanced out relationship, why can't you? You can speak it into existence. You can actually see it. But again, your ruling plan is Saturn is still retrograde. Yes, it's retrograde for a couple of more hours. Sit down somewhere and write it out, right? Sit down and write it out. And I see a lot of you all sleeping better. I'm talking about sleeping like a newborn. This is what I'm saying because now you're being completely real and honest with yourselves. I love it. And I see your intuition is on fire, is on fire, right? You know exactly what you want. You know exactly how to communicate it to God. You know exactly what you're writing down, what you want. You want your marriage to look better. You want to be in a, a, a healthy relationship with the right person. You want to somebody, the right person, meaning the person that's on your frequency, um, and whatever else you put down on that sheet of paper that you're going to write, you want to be in the right job. You want your career to take off. You're writing all these things out and you're operating in faith. No more fear, no more fear whatsoever. None whatsoever. The number 10, 10 means instant manifestation, right? We know that 10 means instant manifestation. It means that, um, you can manifest ideas, thoughts, goals, emotions easily, and often instantly, instantly. Listen, y'all ruling planet is still retrograde. Write it down, write it down, write it down. Change your whole mindset. No more operating in fear whatsoever. No more, no more, no more. Because you got to move through life with the glass half full perspective versus glass half empty. I don't care what, you, what it looks like. You could be living in a... Um, you could be living in a two bedroom apartment or one bedroom apartment in a really bad neighborhood or whatever. You got to see yourselves in the spirit realm exactly where you want to be. Start speaking it into existence. Start sitting down, making sure that place where you live right now is is clean because you're getting prepared to clean your bigger mansion. Make sure that car that you're driving is the the oil is changed on a regular basis. You're getting the tires rotated. You you getting your car is cleaned out. Why? Because you're getting ready for your next the car that you've been saying that you wanted, right? Make sure when you go to work every single day, hey, your intentions are already set. Hey, I just work with these people. I'm not taking any of this stuff personally. I just work with these people. If somebody disrespects me, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, make, we're going to have a conversation right away about it. So I don't carry that weight with me for the rest of the day. I'm not even holding space or energy for that. I'm not doing that so that I can continue moving on. Why? Because I set the intention that I'm going to have a great day. So I'm going to make sure that I have a day. I'm going to make it a great day. You see what I'm saying? Yes. You're preparing for the next steps. Soak in a bath. Didn't I say, what, what is that card? Didn't I say water? Blue being connected to your throat chakra. Sit down. Open your mouth. Get your candles and all of that other stuff. Tell God exactly what it is you want and watch some stuff start happening. I'm telling you, it never happens the way you think it's going to happen because you're going to have to lose some things in order to gain the life that you want. But be prepared. Not get prepared. Be prepared because things are happening real quick. Things are happening. Like, matter of fact, Uranus or Uranus, however you want to pronounce it, is retrograde right now until uh, January. I want to say January 18, 2022. So that's the planet of intuition and spontaneity and change, right? So things are happening real quick for a lot of people. Some people are still stuck on that. Well, you know, I'm not ready yet. Look, always be ready. Always be ready. That's what I have for you, Capricorns. Have a continue having a fantastic day. But then again, I know you will because that's the intention you said. Bye.